video, I am going to be doing freshman advice. I filmed this video like yesterday, and it was supposed to go up yesterday, but I just didn't do it because... I don't know why, I just didn't. This, this, shh, this is what it looked like, and that's not cute, so we're just gonna refilm it. Oh, I'm so sorry I have not uploaded for literally two weeks. I got in trouble, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. I just got home from my first day of school, first day of sophomore year, and a lot of my freshman friends were like, yo, I don't even know where to start with high school. Like, the first day was like, it's hell, and I'm here to help you with that. <laughs> so, these are things that you must know, rules and regulations for shh, rules and regulations for high school. Here we go. Gotta get, you know, get my notes. Okay, I have like all of my notes here. I was originally supposed to do this with my friend Marina, but I got in trouble, so. Rule number one, don't be annoying. You might not be doing it on purpose, but trust me, like, it's not even, it's not even just freshmen, like it's literally everyone, but since you're freshmen, you're like considered annoying. You're fresh, fresh meat. Oh, and don't be thinking you're all that too, because you're not. Like, I mean, yeah, you can look cute and all of that, but don't be thinking like you're all the way at the top, because you're literally a freshman, okay? Number two is focus on your grades. It's not a game anymore, guys. Take your grades seriously. Like, I know you're probably like, Oh, I already have good grades. Like, yeah, you probably had good grades last year in eighth grade, but it's going to get a little bit harder. Like, I'm not saying it's like a drastic change, but it is going to get a little harder and you're going to get a lot of work. But I would just stay on top of all of your classes because it's really easy to fall behind. It doesn't matter if Jimmy John is not doing their homework. Do your damn homework. I know on the first day of school, teachers will be like, Okay, class, my name is Mr. <laughs> and I will be going over the syllabus. So, tests are 50% of your grade. So, make sure you do great on your tests. Okay, okay. Um, homework. <laughs> homework is 90% of your grade. 90 plus 50 is 14 million. So that's like all of your grade right there. So please, please do your homework. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's seriously not a joke anymore. Like it's okay to miss a couple. Of, I mean, I'm not saying it's okay, but like it's fine if you miss a couple assignments, but not everything. Like, if you get a bad grade on your assignments, like you'll be fine. Grades don't define you, but at the same time, just keep working hard. Like it's okay to suck at a subject. Trust me, I know it's okay to suck at a subject. Did, but just what? But just make sure you're working hard um, enough to understand it. Because if you understand it, then that means you get a good grade and you pass the class. And on to sophomore year. I'm saying keep your grades great because I remember last year, freshman year, I had this friend where she had straight F's both semester and guess what? She had to pick summer school. I mean, summer school's not that bad, but you literally wasted your summer because you didn't handle your business. Wouldn't you rather take the course once or take it twice over, over the summer when you're supposed to be relaxing? Like. Do you see? I don't, I don't recommend getting into a relationship your first year because I feel like you'll focus more on the relationship more than your grades. I mean, you totally can. Like, it's your life. Do you, boo? <laughs> but, um, I don't really recommend it. Friends. Not everyone is going to like you. You have to remember that. Like, they're not gonna like you for no apparent reason. That's just the haters. Mm, blocking out the haters. I was too busy blocking out the haters. Be careful who you make friends with. There's a lot of snakes out there. Like, oh my god, there's so many snakes in high school. You will lose friends, and that's okay, because you'll make new ones. I made so many new friends last year, and now none of my friends from last year are even in my class. There's a couple of them, but not, not a lot. Like, maybe two. You're not gonna leave high school with the same friends. I mean, you might, it's possible, but you'll lose friends. You'll like start to drift apart and everything. So don't be sad, like it's fine. You'll figure out who's real and who isn't. Getting lost. You don't know how many people have come up to me or texted me saying, oh, I'm gonna get lost. You'll be fine. Like it's really not that big of a school. Even if you go to my school or a different school, you're, you're gonna be fine. I mean, it's much different than middle school, like the size comparison. You go to my school, all of the 100 classes or 100 classroom numbers are in the A-wing. 
all the 300 classroom numbers are in the C wing and all the 400s are in the portables. Just ask. Like, if you really need help, ask someone. Like, there's gonna be so many kids. Like, you'll be fine. No one's gonna be like, mm, figure it out, freshman. Like, they're not gonna do that. Seniors. Honestly, they really don't care about freshmen. That sounds really harsh, but they really don't care. They only care about just graduating. They've been through freshman year, sophomore, and junior year, and they're just ready to bounce. <laughs> they're not gonna push you into lockers like the movies do. They're not gonna flush your heads down the toilet. And if they do, you need to suck them in their chin. So they're actually really nice. Upperclassmen, we're here to help you. Like, we're not gonna be mean to you unless you're mean to us first. We're really not that scary. We're not scary at all, actually. We're just like you but in a higher grade level. And if you're dating a senior, what are you doing? Like, you look so stupid. I'm not judging, but bruh. Be yourself. Be who you are and don't change for anyone. There's so many people that do the same things. Get involved. Those are going to be a lot of things and activities for you to do. So I would recommend joining a sport. There's like the swim team, there's football, there's cheerleading, whatever you want to do. Um, and then there's clubs, so like I think in a month, at my school at least, they um, have booths in the quad and you go, go and sign up for clubs. There's dance club, cooking club, uh, anime club. There's just so many clubs. You don't have school spirit, like what are you doing? And it's not like middle school where nobody participated. It's really like everyone participates in spirit week or spirit days like everyone participates in everything and everyone has fun even the seniors like the older kids like 17 18 year olds participate in spirit week and spirit days and everything like that on the first day of school we had a pep rally and freshmen wore gray just sophomores wore white juniors wore red and the seniors wore black everyone wore their color um except for freshmen and some sophomores i always do school spirit but except for today because i was looking cute and i don't want to wear white today so go to football games oh my god football games are so much fun our football team sucks really bad like they suck booty balls but i still go to them and i still have fun with my friends and everything like last year um i went to a football game with some of my junior friends and we had a really freaking lit time like it was so fun we went to taco bell and after that we went to the park and ate it and then like went on the slides and swings and everything then after that we went back to the school to go like get our tickets and everything and that was so much fun everyone joins clubs and everyone does like something so i would recommend doing something <laughs> You can be by yourself. You don't have to have everyone holding your hand for you. Teachers. Teachers can be the sweetest people you will ever meet in your entire life. Making friends with teachers or just making a good impression on the first day because good impressions are everything. Because if you're that kid who's always talking and mouthing off to the teacher, the teacher's obviously not going to like you. Be respectful. They're adults and you're freaking a child. Most of the time, teachers will give you extra credit if you're like, if you just want an extra credit to boost up your grade like if you have a B and then you want to get to an A you can just ask your teacher for extra credit and they'll give it to you most of the time but depending on your teacher I don't know uh, my teachers will at least <laughs> don't be doing the nasty or drugs you look dumb I mean I have some friends that smoke weed and stuff like that like I don't mind but don't be doing it around me Bites. <laughs> the best part about high school if you see crowd forming and a freaking security guard on his go-kart with blowing his whistle you better follow him because that means there's a fight there is a fight there's weave going across the room edges are getting snatched off people are freaking videotaping the fight go because that's like the literal best time of high school is watching the fights always walk on the right side so many people it's not even just freshmen but everyone literally always cuts through like it's like driving you're always on the right lane please do not start slowing down in the middle of the freaking house because you will get pushed you'll make it to class on time like you're fine you have seven minutes to book it to class and usually the first week teachers will cut you some slack because it's the first week like you're still getting your classes together especially freshmen because you're new to the school <laughs> Don't send the nudes, my dude. In high school, everyone knows everyone, so that spreads quick. If you send it to one person, everyone's gonna know about it. Make new friends. There's gonna be so many opportunities for you to make new friends, um, especially if you join clubs and um, sports. That's a great way to make new friends. I get awkward and I don't know how to start a conversation. <laughs> Just say hi or like ask what their name is or hey, do you have a pencil? Just to start a conversation or something. The first day. 
if you go to my school or if you live in my area you already had your first day today the 15th which is the day I'm filming this and if you haven't the first day it's not like you'll be fine you might you're probably like oh my god I'm finally in high school you don't have to bring all of your materials just bring one pen one pencil and a notebook or a folder to put all of the syllabus syllabi in bullies my tip is just to ignore them and if they don't get the hint sock them in the chin i'm just kidding act like they're not even there like just be like oh you're here mm, i'm over here cooler than you like <laughs> make sure to stand up for yourself because you don't want to get picked on because if you don't stand up for yourself you're just gonna get picked on more so they say like a smart kid little mark you can be like oh my god that's cute you think i care cafeteria food sucks balls my, my freaking camera's about to die in a couple seconds so any minute now you know high school is like the four years that you learn a lot of things about yourself and other people it's the four years of learning <laughs> high school goes by super fast i feel like it was just yesterday that i was a freshman oh my god and now i'm a freaking sophomore you don't have to be the prettiest girl ever like nobody's perfect have study dates. Study dates are so helpful. The popular kids don't matter. They really don't because after high school, they're not going to be in contact. Take lots of pictures and don't delete them because you're going to make so many memories and when you want to look back up ugly photos of yourself, you're not going to have any because you deleted them. Oh, and also if you go to my school, well, I don't know if this happens at your school, but we're going to blue you at pep rallies. Like, I'm sorry. Like, Pretty blue. It's a tradition. Like everyone boos the freshmen. Wear what you want, but also don't be dressing like a thotty, cause like I mean, I'm not telling you to sleep in class, but if it's absolutely necessary, like <laughs> whatever reputation you have this year will stay with you all throughout high school. So if you get into a fight and you lose that fight, you're gonna be known as the girl who can't fight. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this freshman advice. Give this video a thumbs up if this helped you and if you're like a sophomore or junior or senior. So comment down below what class you're in. Like class of 2021 represent. Hey. Comment down below some video ideas. After my back to school series, I'm freaking stuck because I don't know what to do. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys hopefully next Sunday. Okay, bye!